Kim, and you are watching Sarda Live Streaming. Um, we are going to have an amazing show today as we actually have seven amazing, beautiful trays. But I'm starting out with the bracelet of the week because this is one of my couture pieces. And you can see that beautiful open filigree. You can see a little bit of the watermark. I love the chevrons. You see me doing that and cutting a lot of stones in a chevron. Look at that easy kickback, but I just love it. So we're going to start with that, but welcome in. And guess what? Everything on our show today is 20% off, including new arrivals. We love um, giving you that opportunity too, but um, I hope everybody had just a really blessed week. And it's so funny. Um, we have some people out sick, so I'm actually touring the jewelry and talking about it. And what a blessing, because guess what? I redid the whole setup, and I think I'm going to be able to see. I'm going to be able to really, hopefully, tour the jewelry really beautifully for you today. Um, Michelle, anything you want to pop in and I want to pop announce? it. I do. I want to remind everyone we have the, in addition to the bracelet you're showing, which is Bracelet of the Week at $149, crazy price. We also have the Moist Night BOGO that ends tonight at midnight. So buy one, get one free on Moist Night. And we have the uh, New Beginnings BOGO that ends on Sunday. Oh my gosh, love it. Well, I'm going to start stacking and racking my bracelets because the next one that I am going to show you um, is our multi. And guess what? We only have two of these left, ladies. And so anyway, I love it because this is the actual blue coral and it's complete natural. So see the little holes in the things? That is completely natural with nothing getting done to it. Um, I have two collections where we did that, and then we're gonna go back to doing what they do to coral, and they do have to inject coral to um, literally fill in the holes and stuff, but I wanted to give you a collection because a couple of ladies were saying, Chanel, we would love to see the completely natural um, coral in its, you know, literally un, Touched. <gasps> Look at that aquamarine. Do you see the little chatoyant roll? Yeah, that's probably why we only have two of those left. But literally all of these little, you see the little patterning? Um, it's this gorgeous denim -y blue and almost navy blue and white. And that is completely the way the coral is. Nothing is enhanced in any way. Um, so both of these collections are going to, to, to be that way. So you see those really cool little patterns. Do you see the little polka dots? I mean, I just fell in love with this and I was like, um, so we're gonna have about eight collections coming in the next three months. Two of them are gonna be just like completely for you ladies. And it's almost a little bit more of a matte finish, not, you know, um, doing where they literally use kind of almost like a epoxy to actually just fill in all the little nicks and crannies. Um, also with my bracelets, I want those to be forever. So you see, I use two jump rings also, and I love making sure those little uh, Jawa beads at each of them make your bracelet really, really strong. But I love creating forever pieces. So, and you've got the toggle bar. So ladies, good luck to that. Whoever's going to get the last two pieces. Barb Backoff says she loves her, the organic material like that. She has that bracelet. <coughs> Well, it's so funny because I said, I'm just going to do two collections, but see, all of that is completely natural. So um, usually, you know, in the industry, but a few of you ladies wanted to see, but all of those cool little patterns, you see the little matte texture, you see the texture of the coral there. Um, anyway, this is with Topaz. It's our uh, Sheer Luck Topaz, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And Next year, these are going to be tons of the color of the year, too. But is that just absolutely beautiful? And Becky Wayford says, a great denim look. Uh -huh. I love my denim. Mary, you just actually did um, a photo shoot with that kind of color, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> I had fun. I went shopping and, and got Mary some really cute things for her photo shoot. I love to shop. So, ladies... Yeah, and really, it's really cool because there's so much denim out this year. So um, that being that stone of the year, it totally makes sense, you know, why they're doing that. Okay, well, we got these back in, and I am so excited because guess what? It's our sheer luck, and we're going to have that cute little ring on the tray that I'm going to be showing here in just a little bit. But 
These are so sweet. And you ladies have been asking for more of the little studs to wear. So what I do love about this is you're going to see that really beautiful little bezel. And I use that bamboo. So do you see it's got that whole little area of bamboo. Then you have the two hand twisted ropes um, that is literally rolled over that. And then we set the stone and you see how beautifully bezel set that is. Um, these are those cutie patootie little size. So I'm going to just give that a little measure. Sorry about that. Aren't those so cute? Perfect, right? But little perfect Goldilocks sizes. I always say like, it's such a cute little Goldilocks size. Well, I always do coordinating sets. So guess what? Of course, I did a pendant uh, to match. So I wanted to get really close and really kind of show you how gorgeous these corals are. But literally that is untouched, okay? So literally taking the fossilized coral and then cut into a piece like this. So beautiful, isn't it? So pretty. But this, I would say this is definitely medallion size because look at that. Yeah, that's right. Really nice little size there. Um, but I love it because we're going to have um, other things um, that will um, go with it. I put that little midi. Here it is. So um, we showed this already. And then I had to because I absolutely love this. Do you know, ladies, I have this ring in a midi. And I also have this ring in a full-size ring because I love the, the beautiful scalloping um, of this piece. And um, actually, this is like something that you can wear as a midi. Um, a lot of you ladies might be able to wear that as a pinky ring. Um, a little small for my pinky, but I, I'm like a size four in the pinky. But these are always just really fun little pieces um, to kind of like put on. Isn't that fun? It just kind of adds to that look a little bit. This this ring here was not really my size, but I was really having fun. I really wanted to uh, put it on there. But okay, there's our little midi. And then, um, oh, I missed a ring. <gasps> ah, Joey, you were probably on it, weren't you? I was like, why didn't I put that sheer luck next? So what I did is that's gonna go next to these earrings. So it's that same gemstone in the uh, sheer luck. And this is a topaz, but look at, look at the beadwork. All those little jogging beads on um, that wire. I love the beautiful little shoulders of this ring. This is one of our most popular little styles that I continue to uh, do a lot of different um, gemstones in. Cause it's one, it's one of my besties favorites. Oh, look how pretty that is on. But yes, so thank you, Joey, for popping back over there since uh, I went out of line. Uh, Mary's over here helping me point to things going, I'm not sure what you're doing, but you're not picking up the stuff you're supposed to, Janelle. Okay. Okay, ladies. I, you know I love my peacocks. And I love, they have white peacocks in Bali that they brought in, and it's at the Bali Bird Park, and I absolutely just love it. But I use peacocks a lot, and I loved putting it because these are the colors. Like, to me, sheer luck reminds me of the beautiful peacock colors and the peacock feathers. So I thought he, it, they were just fitting. The little mama and the baby, I thought it was just fitting. Um, but you see that beautiful strands of silver. You see even the texture. Like, if you've ever noticed, like, a peacock and almost like a rooster or chicken kind of has that kind of texture. You see the little hidden heart right there too. Um, and look at the detail in the feathers. Is that just gorgeous? Tree of life, watermark design. I love this. This is part of the Janelle Adair tips that I did on this. And of course, look at the back. I always like, love it. Like literally you could wear that from this direction. People would still know it was a peacock, huh? I'm going to give it a measure, though, because I bet you ladies were going, how big is that? Look at that. I'd say, what? About three and three uh, quarters, right? And look in size. So this is definitely a medallion. Really, I love designing these pieces. And I love watching my artisans layer the pieces on top of each other like this to bring it to life. You can see all that dimension in this piece. 
I love this part right here too where we added more wire and java beads. Okay. Well, Odyssey Universe is another one. So um, this is going to be a quartz and I wanted to put these together because I wanted to show you um, the different colors. And Odyssey Universe is definitely can be worn with um, the sheer luck. It can be worn um, with the pure luck, okay? Um, they definitely absolutely, but there's a little more drama, I feel like, to the blue in it. It's almost like a midnight kind of um, sultry kind of colors that pop out of it. And I love this little design where the little watermark peeks out. The double, of course, my signature, my double, uh, double braid. And look at that inside gallery. Wow. Is that just beautiful? Natalie Fenton's a stunning. That's stunning. Gorgeous. That's a 12 by 10. So it's an impressive uh, carat weight also um, on the gemstone. Now, um, what I do love is that there is going to be more to this Odyssey universe coming in. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of other pieces um, that you will be able to add to your collection. Um, but these are colors that I'm starting to get in because you're going to start seeing a lot um, in your environment in these kind of colors. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, even the side faceting. I love to kind of highlight those side faceting. This is a really gorgeous 14 by 10 stone, and I love the bar hinge, right? The movement. Um, that way, if you're wearing a sweater, it's going to kind of move uh, with you. And then, of course, um, you ladies wanted little studs, so I actually did something a little bit different. I did a lotus cut because you ladies want the stones, but see how I faceted? The lotus cut is the one that has over 350 facets, but you can see that top there has that little bit of cabochon. So as it moves, you see the sparkle and the cut underneath is just phenomenal when it catches that light. Gorgeous, right? And to me, it's that perfect little size also. Just covering that earlobe just slightly. Isn't that pretty? I, I really love these. I have a few people I know I probably need to grab and uh, give this gifts on that one. Okay, back to the coral. I have two of the other pieces. And again, you see that, that every single one is a one of a kind. You see all the, the, the beautiful patterning in that coral. So for you ladies that love the raw, like the raw tanzanite kind of look, it's a little bit more earthy, right? Um, I love this part and how it goes into the jaw and beads and then to the braid. I think this ring is just so pretty, but just such a great staple piece. And look at that gallery. That is what is going to give you that heavy scent fit that I love designing for you. Watch this. Look at that. <coughs> Beautiful, right? Amory McKenzie. Butta, butta, butta. Mm -hmm. Amory said, thank you for having a size 12 for her. She <gasps> picked up pizza. And we don't have a 12 left, so she must be the one who got one. Oh my gosh, I know. I know there's like, um, as we're doing our size runs, um, I think there's sometimes only one to two twelves. Now, this, at every every single stone, ladies, I like queued and went over each stone. Um, sometimes you get some of the lines, sometimes you get some of the polka dots, but it's, again, if you have your order and you're like, hey, give me as much polka dots as you can. Remember, you can put notes, you can write notes in your order and you can kind of <coughs> specify it. Um, if you want more polka dots in it, they can see what we have left to, to be able to give you um, what you want. But every single, I love the little jaw would be set in the back of this too. Well, they've been loving it. We This was a brand new item and there is only two left as of this morning. Oh, well, so, I better look at quantity. I'm all like it's romancing okay. it. And it's like, so basically two people get it. So yes. I don't know, maybe a polka dot one. I know the ladies are like, I want the one Janelle was showing. And Beth will come up and get it from us. She will. She will. <laughs> so guess what? You have the luxury, the last two people, to say I want the one Janelle showed. <laughs> Can you show the bracelet of the week one more time? before? Oh, my off? gosh. Absolutely. Because I stuck it on my wrist here. Um, because I absolutely love it. 
And okay, so the bracelet of the week is kind of a big deal because this is a cuff that out there, I'm sorry, you would pay $300, probably even somebody who actually is known for good pricing on a quality piece like this. Now this is my design, so no, you're not gonna see this one. Um, but I, I just, that's my thing. I want to put bracelets on everybody and I want to be able to do pricing um, that's affordable. Okay, so this is absolutely a champagne uh, piece, but definitely we love running those specials. You know, 149 for a piece like this, yeah. This is, I, you know, I love giving those kind of opportunities. Vero said she's been wearing the bracelet <coughs> of the week like crazy and loves it. Oh my so. gosh. Okay, and Vero, it is so good to see you, my friend. I just love you ladies. And I, Michelle, you know, I love to hear as many names as I possibly can hear out there. Okay. So well. welcome in everybody. And um, I hope you're really having a blessed day. I, I have to tell you, there's been some amazing things going on in my life and at Serta and God is moving. And we are so grateful um, for your support and literally joining the Serta family. So if you're new and you're just like, you happen to come up upon this, welcome in because we love doing luxury jewelry, but I'd love to spoil you with completely affordable prices for and your I, budget. Right? I think Margie Shirley might be new because she was <gasps> saying, commenting she loved a piece and wanted to know the price. So if you're okay. watching on our website at Sarda.com, yes. right above the top of Janelle's head, you can see right now, you will see the item being featured That's right. and the price. Um, you can just click on those items and purchase. Super easy. If you're over on Facebook, you want to type in uh, comment, sold a space and the number, and then that will send you a link. Well, and that's it. So if you're on Facebook, if you like that piece, it will send you a link. So um, one important thing you have to do is you, you put sold, you have to have a space, and then you put the number um, that we're showing. Um, and it's easy because it starts with 100 and then the numbers go up. So three numbers we can usually sometimes remember, right ladies? Sometimes at my age, one would be better, but three, it, it, that's the way the system works. But if not, go over to Sarda.com and you can click. And if you go to our drop down, it says live shows. You can click onto that and you can actually see all of the items that we're gonna be showing tonight. Um, so you don't have to wait for them to come up one by one. And I think the best part that I love about the way that we do, we post these shows about an hour after we finish the show and you can literally go back on and instead of having to watch the whole show, you can click on the jewelry and it will take you back to that part of the video. So that's always really fun too. Well, Diana Diaz is here, Barb Backa, Sally okay. Zambrano, yes. Audrey Moore, Natalie Fenton. Terry Edgy, Rosemary Strickland, Linnell Barnett. We oh, met her recently. Linnell. Linnell, guess what? I just wrote you a little letter because uh, we're sending your mugs to you. And apparently by the time I brought it over there, I lost her. I lost it. So anyway, isn't that funny? So anyway, so awesome to see everybody. And um, I'm behind. I actually answered two days on my post. And then it's been crazy. I'm getting ready for Indonesia and I'm, you know, doing a bunch of different little fun specials and things like that while I'm gone. And ooh, look at that gal. I love this bracelet. I love everything about this bracelet. And it is one of our show specials. So we have this at $159 oh and available gosh. in four sizes. Well, and do you see, this is called the bird's nest cutting. So do you see the little swipes, how I'm moving it? how gorgeous that little color in the cutting, you almost get like morganite and kunzite colors that go through, but then like you catch those glimpses of that gorgeous burgundy, like the Hayward Muse. And of course, look at, look at the, I mean, it's just a perfect pairing with that. Um, wait, is that the, um, I'm sorry, is it, Michelle, what it's is the accent? In this no, that's not pill plum. Oh, in this race, yeah. the Bali Sunrise. Oh, it is the Bali Sunrise because I almost thought it was Road Light Garnet. And I'm like, no, no, no. That's one of my topazes. It's got a sparkle. How, isn't that funny? Because I do with the Summer Peach, pill plum is one of my go-tos. That's why I was like, that's not what I did. 
And you know what? We're going to be doing a lot more of the Bali sunrise because I got to tell you, it's it's beyond fabulous. Well, I'm going to put this one on because I got to tell you, um, one is great, but a stack is even better. So actually, I think, you know what? You know me. I got to do my perfect stack. So what I do love is, Michelle, you putting uh, the bracelets on the opportunity because I think, you know, having an opportunity for some of the prices. Oh, you know what? That ring is actually on over here. So I'm wondering what happened here. So actually the next item up is this ring. So I had it um, on a different tray. So, uh, are, yeah, are okay. you like, wait a minute, you know, this is one of our most popular bands that we put two together. So we put the high polish and we put the hammered. And I have to tell you, there is two of these that go with the Moissanite stack that is on the page. Um, but we have this just by itself too. And I think it's just one of those really great rings that we're always looking for new rings or things that we can do for fillers. But Michelle, what were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say Betty McCullum was saying that the tip to tip look beautiful with the bracelet of the week. She was saying it's stunning. Oh, okay. Well, have to do a little Janelle Adair with a little Janelle Adair. See, I'd love to pull those kind of things in on it. Um, this is my personal favorite. This is one of my rings that, like for me, um, it's when I gift all my girlfriends also. Look at, look at the intricate inside. The gallery is a separate cross. Isn't that beautiful? With the Tree of Life. This is all open filigree work there. And you can see that we laid that beautiful cross. And then we did the little jaw and beads all the way around. I love this little part too because it's like a Maltese cross too. Amberly's being funny. What is she doing? She said, I've heard when the cat is away, the mice will play. Who's manning the pricing when you're gone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, I said, okay, I did a bunch of things, and I'm like, okay. So it's going to be fun. I, I got to tell you, it's going to be wild because we're already coming up with a bunch of really cool, fun specials. Michelle loves to get a little crazy with this, so I'm like, let's do it. Do it. But I... There's no guidelines while I'm gone. I hope uh, I expect them to spoil you even more um, than I do. So, you know, the uh, summer peach ring we have available in a 10, 11, or 12. So they've been liking this ring. Right. Okay. Once again, hardly any, but gorgeous. Okay. Well, let's go to the pink cashmere um, color, but it's pale plum. But I want to point out, this is the sister stone. This is topaz, um, which is the pale plum. And pink cashmere is actually the quartz version. So it is just that perfect pink. Like, that's the color, like, we want lips to be. We want, like, mm -hmm. it's just that neutral color that just goes with everything. Mm -hmm. But what I love is you almost see morganite peaches and you see kunzite pinks. So that's what I love is it doesn't matter if you're cool or warm tones. This is one of those bracelets that absolutely looks good on everybody. Look at the beautiful, like that's all separate pieces. My artisans like put in separately onto the piece. This again is one of those cuffs that like, this is your forever cuff for sure. All the way through, look at it's invisible. Do you see where it comes apart? And is on a show special as well. Quality. $149. Well, okay. Yeah, these, these are like, I, I love it. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, so I'm just going to add it to my stack because gorgeous. And look how beautiful with the bracelet of the week. Oh my gosh, even if you just did that, is that like fabulous right there? Wow. But of course, no, we're Bali babes and we love to stack and wrap, right? <laughs> okay, so the... Um, Oh, it's that one. You're right. Okay. Um, so for you ladies that want something with a little bit more movement, right? Um, I created this little lovely because one of my favorite little pieces, do you see the side? You know, I want everybody to see that, that beautiful stack and all the beautiful detail. Of course, look at that. Look at that. That's all separate pieces of silver that's constructed together. The back is just as pretty. Um, and again, I curve it because that's what a woman's wrist does. Um, and that also, when I do a curve like that, helps that bracelet stay up on uh, the top of your wrist. 
But again, look at the work. I mean, this summer peach was its own little person. Mm -hmm. And there's no duplicating this summer oh, peach. But also with the cut is what, like, I always think of my little gemstones of you ladies. Like, oh, you know, literally every single one of you is a one of a kind, so unique not duplicated and not like just the best of the best. And I always like to say that and remind you when I reach out to you about that. And this one has the Bali Sunrise right Mystic there. Topaz Accent Stones as well. Same, same. So I always create multi-stone bracelets to kind of, this is kind of my signature look, why I create multis, because when I invest in a stone, I usually will wear multiple pieces like this, but also too, for the person who wants just a bracelet like this, um, they're not a bank person. It gives options for all of you. I don't want to leave anybody out. Well, Leanne Pope has noticed your other hand and loving how you're racking and stacking oh, over there with your mixed metals. I Black rhodium is one of my favorite little things right now. So, like, I am doing a ton of black rhodium. And that's kind of my signature with my black diamond necklace. And I, I can't believe, like, something so basic like that how much how many compliments I get so apparently black rhodium pieces are definitely well, you know something everybody's missing in the market look at the, look at the do you see how many facets go into one little gemstone like this and that's what's going to put my pieces like different than other people they're going to do the minimum amount the most affordable and for me I want to give you those pieces that are just like those forever pieces. Again, you've been asking for little studs and I've been trying to bring them in in most of the collections for you. So, yep, love that. Oh, you know what? I love this little piece and I don't think we, we only have four left. Um, but I gotta tell you, this is one of those styles. Um, I did it in Prezio White too. Um, and we were talking about bringing the Prezio White back um, because I love this little style. I love that you get the little accent stone, but see, it's all incorporated with a magnet enhancer so that you could still put it over a bead strand. But I love the little bezel too. That's like two in one. So pretty and really nice little size too. Matter of fact, am I showing the next? No, I'm going to. And we have the, the matching. We have the matching earrings that are, we are down to three pair on those as well. Is this um, page only, Michelle? I'm they not are. seeing this one. Okay. Well, yes. I'm going to put oh, them yes. next to each other it so you can see only. the size difference. I think we only have one We have one left. of those. Okay. So just so you could just see for size, I thought I'd just show you real quick. Okay. So, and then the earring, we do have a page only earring, right? Um, no, it's not. Yes. This is a page. But that's why we don't have any. We only had one pair to show because okay, for there's sale. only one. So go go go. Um, and this is an eight millimeter. The studs were an eight millimeter, and these are ten millimeters. Just so you know. So this is the the ten, and this is an eight. Okay. They were saying peachy perfect. Peachy, peachy. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It does have this gorgeous peach. <gasps> okay. Everybody was asking about this last week. And, um, oh, wait. How come? Yeah, there we go. We want to get him in because he's, he's, he's a massive star right there. Okay. So, yes, ladies, I told you I had the two styles. So, it's with that really beautiful hand-woven chain. You see where my chain link design comes from is the hand-woven Bali chain. Um, I have this on our page in watermark and I have it, but I want to remind you there's two openings. So this is a free class that literally you can, um, use on different pieces if you want. Basically <clears throat> the cost for, it was like $20 more for me to add something in because the construction of this was so much. There's only a few of my artisans that can actually do that. So I said, oh no, instead of just selling the class separately, um, I'm going to throw this in at just a great price because I think these were supposed to be like a hundred dollars. It's sold by themselves, which was ridiculous, but it's because it has this engineering and it's so hard to solder and put this together because it has the two openings on it. 
Okay. So yeah, can you imagine with some of the other pieces that I have adding this on to something too? Really fun. It's like it's a little paper clip. Well, for ninety six dollars, you get that amazing bracelet and the extender, which is just insane. Oh, I love it. Mary is really helping me here a lot. You're amazing. You're very bossy. Oh my gosh. I, you're so fabulous. Oh my gosh, because you know, like my angles, is, I get distracted so easy. It's like squirrel, squirrel. And so thank you so much, Mary. Um, this makes it easier for you guys back there too, right? When I'm standing on track. <laughs> okay, here's our favorite topaz, okay? Um, I love this little bracelet, and you know I have done many, many a gemstones, and we started with one size, and we brought in another size. Now we have three sizes total in this bracelet, um, which I absolutely love. Look how pretty that is. See the summer peach? See how it kind of peekaboos some of that colors? Isn't that just gorgeous? And that is our Pale Plum Mystic that. Topaz. But in the 625, you know, we do have three sizes, but only one left in the 625. So that oh, middle size, okay. there's, only, there's only one left in the middle. See, the middle was the last one to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one to go out again. Okay, but yes, you, it, and always going to put a really beautiful little, like, sort of charm at the end of this, too. But yeah, to me, I have so many things coming in in this color. And I just think, you know, it just really adds some texture to your stack. Um, yeah, I'm crazy about these little bracelets, um, but I love how the design, it's just going to curve around your wrist so beautifully. So look onto our website because again, I'm going to have these in many different stones. Um, I've done it in an orange, the ardent, I've done it in the Bali breeze. Um, but so, so many different things. Well, of course we want to add in a tiny little ring here. Isn't she so cute? She's so cute. Anyway, this is, everybody loves this little ring. We keep running out, bringing it back in, running out, bringing it back in. So what do we have left in that one, Mary? Do we actually, <gasps> no, we just got this one in. Five through 12. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. How did I miss that this was a reorder? Look, I don't have enough fingers uh, to put them on. But no, I love this. Okay. So, um. Yes, to me, this is a must staple because I can't tell you the amount of gemstones I've got coming in to match this. And of course, I'm still gonna give you a really beautiful little finished gallery too. See, it's sitting on a watermark platform even. Mm -hmm. See, it's a full solid watermark, yeah. It's so cute as you see these components as my artisans. And I love just the little jawline beads, just that finishing part that I, it's like a little bit more, a little bit more, just to make it like pop, you know, the gemstone pop a little bit more. And on the Wish bracelet, you know, with the three stones, mm -hmm. Diana Diaz was asking if you could bring in a six, seven, five, but that has that adjustability on the lock with the lobster claw and the extra rings. So we have that fitting from a five to an eight and a quarter. So she should have one in there to fit her, correct? Yeah. Yeah. With all the adjustability. With the three, yeah. Yes, I, that one of those, um, actually, you might be fitting into two of those, uh, Diana. So she, she might actually have two. Do, are you seeing this site? So do you see the inclusions, which actually makes the cat's eye roll? So that's what the gemstone does. So you see parts of the, the see-through. And then, I mean, this is like a little miracle. And it is beautiful. And I only brought in one size of this too, but I want to show you how beautiful with the little side jawline beads, you see the gorgeous tree of life, a little bit more jawline beads. I love how it's just beautifully set up on a dome, a gorgeous finish back. Look at the under gallery on this. Like it's so, so pretty on. I'm going to put this on here in just a little bit, but uh, again, you're going to get a press button closure with the retention, right? So that little snap to know it's secure. But um, these larger pieces, again, I can't um, reorder. He is telling me big, hard no. So all of these are going to be really considered pocket kind of collections. Um, but I, I wanted to put them on. I thought he was really beautiful with the summer peach. And it would not have been a color that I thought that I would put with it. But it truly is phenomenal with it, right? 
man, I love this bracelet, but see how pretty it is. I, I just, I love the style of this bracelet. I'm going to try to bring in some other pieces like this, but it's one of those really great sizes that you can wear as a bangle. So you're going to see it fits how, and what's the size on range on this one? Oh, can you please go change it? No, it's a six. Okay. It starts at a six. A six to a seven and a quarter? Yeah. Okay. You know, ladies, we're never going to not have one or two of those through a show that we miss. I don't know. It's just part of what it is. It's part of just getting it like, surprise, size six. Whoever can get one, you better hurry. Because I did not bring a ton of, oh, actually, we only have single digits in that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you ladies have been shopping it. No wonder it's so pretty, right? Okay. So, okay. So, now, what have we got left in here? We have three sizes of this. So, we have three sizes. And I love this piece because I designed it to be able to be worn two different ways, okay? So you can wear it as a tip to tip, which I love because this little piece weights it down so it doesn't roll. But see, you've got a little hidden safety right here too. I love the high polish of it too. And look at that gallery. You know, like getting the Tree of Life gallery, why I love using the Tree of Life, it is the hardest gallery, creating all those little small silver pieces around that's all separate pieces we solder in and look at it, it's butter smooth. Yeah, I don't want those being sharp or like, you know, it's something we do. Like you go get your nails done, all that filing that they do. Well, I do that on every single piece. And um, yeah, it's so again, you can wear this piece two different ways. And so I'm going to show you how to put this on because everybody says, oh, with the two, how do you do it? So what you want to do is open up your one. But see, see where this one, you just want to do it from the side. So what you do is you just grab that a little bit, see where it folds over. You let go of it, just like the single. So um, that's how you wear that piece right there. Ooh, I like these two together. Mm, well, those look kind of cool, don't they? Yeah. Very edgy. Edgy. We like to be edgy at our age. Yep. It's like, Joey, I love it when you tell me I'm looking edgy. <laughs> okay. So, oh, actually, yes, oh, very nice. Nice. I, I am loving nice. these two. Like, I'm loving it because both of these are the quality of these two pieces. And I think that's what I, I'm looking like, money. Yeah. But again, you can wear these two different ways, okay? And I love the flexibility of that. So don't let that get you tied up, okay? So remember, open, and then you always want to put your bracelet from the side. Okay, so your wrist, you're always going to put one of those. So you do this, then you just catch it a little bit. See, like that, and then just turn it over. So hopefully I showed you, don't be afraid of those uh, two. I love doing some with the features like that because it's definitely high-end features for a bracelet. Okay, well, oh my gosh, I got to show this one. Oh, it's on the other tray again. So what happened here? Okay, so actually... Put it on the wrong tray again. So let me see. I got it here though. So I did want to do this piece because I like wowzer, right? Actually, I've got to put that back on because I think it's just amazing. So I'm going to stick that back on and I'm going to take one of these pieces off and I'm going to show you how pretty that is together. Oh, let me, let me give you a full tour though. Yes, I didn't forget the gallery. Of course I didn't. But I love the shape of that. And you see it goes all the way from the side. And I think why you ladies too, you, you were saying you love the high polish. But I think it's perfect with that high polish side and edge to it. Like how pretty that is, right? With that. Okay. So let's go into some coon sight. Okay. So I did bring both of these pendants um, out because... Some of you ladies, well, this is the one where, um, see, oh, the that's, stones. Oh, that's the last call one. Three, three pieces as of this morning. So, okay. Three. Yes. Okay. But the other one, so yeah, we so will so. go. Well, you know why? Because I just it's got this new. one in <laughs> and well, here's the thing. The reason I'm going to be talking about the pendants to these is I'm not going to have pendants to all my Kunsite collections. So literally when I did this. Um, 
you will maybe I, like the round pendants did not look as good. So the pear shape in the pendants I thought were so much prettier and the rounds. So I really did, some of these don't have full complete collections because so much of this can be mixed and matched together so beautifully. So believe it or not, this is what I actually made together. Okay. Uh, to bring it in to mix it up a little bit. But look at, look at this one. I love this little piece. You see the little cabling, then you see the little S swirls, and then you see my two little cable, and then I love this part. Look at all, every single one of those have put on by hand the little Jama beads. And I love this, this, I love this magnet enhancer. And you know what, how I get them open? I shove my nail in because it, there's some resistance. So I just open, but boom, you're going to hear that snap closed. And it's a medallion. Yeah, because this is a 12 by 16 stone. It's it's big. Look at this, the translucent and uh, different parts of that that make that just like so, so gorgeous, the glow. So beautiful. Wow. Okay. Oh, last call on this. So... Um, you ladies that did not, we did order the bracelet, but we do not have the pendant coming because he was not able to cut enough. So it's going to be last call, but I want to call out on this hand carved piece. Um, it's probably one of the most intricate leaves I've ever had cut. And I remember I did a leaf in an ocean jasper and the cost of the ocean jasper was crazy. They were one of a kind pieces, never to be done. I, I actually commissioned these artisans to actually try to do something very similar in this porcelain jasper. So you, it's not flat. You see the highs and the lows of that leaf? Truly just gorgeous. And then all the silver that's like, you know, put around it. But I love the little bamboo edging, the little bamboo leaves. And of course, a gorgeous gallery, right? But I even love the little leaf. See the detail on that? Is that phenomenal? It's a beautiful little piece. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him together. Because that's why I kind of put... You know when I was saying I'm doing a lot of stuff where the peak cashmere is... Like the porcelain jasper has almost lavender moon, purple lavender hues to it, and undertones of that perfect, like, cashmere pink color. Um, I don't do pink as much, but I do these colors. These are my, like, this is my, like, to me, it's the sophisticated adult pink, right? Where we used to do a lot of brighter pinks as we get older. It's all about neutrals and those softer colors, right? We don't want anything too harsh next to, our, you know, next to us. Yeah. Oh, that's the one that was page only. Oh, and there was one piece. Yes. Well, we are going to go on. I'm going to have Mary help me. Um, I'm going to have her put the purple tray. Um, so we're going to trade this out real quick. And while you're doing that, I want to let everybody know we posted a little surprise over on our homepage at sarna.com. If what did you do? We put a little surprise over there that they might want to use. What? We did a little coupon. A little you, discount code. You did today? Yeah, just well, just right before the show. Oh my gosh. We didn't say did we say that at the beginning of the show? No, but we posted and oh, typed okay. it in the feed. Okay. Oh, it's you the, did type it in the feed. I'm like, oh it's in the feed. Okay, you better put a but double coupon then. It's the little five dollar uh, five dollar off coupon for just joining us as a little thank you today. Can they use it multiple times? No. They get to use it. Oh, the, just someone. Okay. It's just it's a, a little thank kiss. You. It's a little it's kiss. A thank you. Yeah. It's a little kiss. Thanks for joining. Five buckaroos. Yeah. Okay. So oh thank you, Mary. Oh, oh. I I had, I, ladies, I've had so much fun. You know, I had to put, I know it's a lot. I know you like to see less sometimes, but I couldn't help myself. Because literally how I put this stone in, I brought the pink vapor, but I also brought in lavender moon quartz. And then I did the, the 
fluorites, okay? Here's the pink vapor, which I can't get anymore. That's officially retired. But do you see how beautiful that all combines together? I mean, it's just phenomenal. I'm going to keep the bracelet of the week um, out here because I think um, I might access that again because that is my bracelet that I would put with just about everything, Michelle. So I know, it's to, awesome. I love that one. Yeah, I'm going to. Those I don't need, but thank you. Oh, but I have that trade on. <gasps> okay. I'm not going to do a regular amethyst. If I'm going to bring you, ladies, February birthdays, it is so important and so special. I don't want you to have the run of the mill amethyst that is like really light, abundant. They're not doing amazing facets. I want you to love and go, my birthstone's amethyst. Because, and I want you to have competition cut stones. And do you see all of those facets that's on the back under um, gallery of this? It's literally, and I got to tell you, the quality of the amethyst that I have to use, because we have over 300 facets, it has to be such rich, deep, like beyond triple A. And I, I just love doing this for you. But um, you see the little accents? That's the talkative? Is that the it talkative? It is the talkative. Okay. I remember that big peacock. Remember that big peacock you did with the top <sighs> that one time? In yes. The Matter of fact, we found one of those, and Beth was like, she really wanted one. And I said, there was just one. And I said, you have to have that, because you're my girl. Yeah. But look at the detail. Again, this is one of the harder bracelets. Whenever you see that domed open filigree, the skill level of my artisans that actually have to do pieces like this, um, I, I can't do it on every bracelet, but when I'm using stones like this, I, I, you know, I want to give you something really phenomenal, but I love this piece in that, that see, look at, it's a magnet and a retention. So you're always going to have two safeties, but again, I love doing really pretty under galleries and things where people are going, I'm sorry, you ladies are hand talkers. And we all, even if we don't think we are, we probably are. Okay. And I want that gorgeous all the time for you. Catherine Ferris says she has that peacock. She does. That's so funny. So oh my gosh. She knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay. We, we have two amethyst rings. Um, this is a reorder that we got in because it was our best of the best. And I want you to see how it's on this beautiful crown of silver. Do you see see that, like, literally, this is architecture mm -hmm. of silver pieces to actually really highlight. And I'm going to show you that front, but look at all the little jawbone beads. These are placed so that you can still shut your hand, and it's comfortable for this part. Because look at, look at, look at the artistry on this. You see all the little the, the, you see all the little pieces of silver that's placed on by hand. Isn't it just look at look at the it's so pretty, right? Look at the gallery even. I mean this ring, sorry. Like this one, somebody's looking at that. No, they're thinking you spent a lot of money there. Right? Maybe it was your great great grandmother's maybe or something. Like yeah, there's some pieces that I like to go, it, like, no, this is super elegant, very, very girly, very, you know, Victorian kind of feel. Kathy Ripper Bardell said that you're, we're ruining her budget, and then everybody else in the feed is asking her, what is a budget? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it hard, right, with the budget when you find, like, you know, there's things, and it's like, oh my gosh, I don't have that, or I would really love this. When you find something you love, it you you kind of want to build up and kind of have things. I do that with my same designers, right? So, um, and I do make it hard because I like okay, I did something like this before. Now I need to do this next. Okay, this is one of my favorite little ring styles, and I love to wear it here. But I'm gonna move it over into this finger too because I gotta tell you, I know a lot of you ladies wear it like this, right? I mean, wow. Edgy. Edgy. Right? <laughs> this one is. Right, Mary? Elegant and edgy. It's like, you know, went from elegant to like, oh yeah, edgy. 
but see where the bracelet still works with both, you know? Well, we might need to reorder that range of us. We have a size 8, 9, or 11. <clears throat> so well, in 14 by 10, again, I wanted to go really big. This one, I really wanted one of those really elegant. This is a 12 by 8. And, you know, everything, I recut gemstones to get to that perfect color and that perfect presence for you, you know, when I'm designing each piece. Yes. Um, okay, got to do the pendant. Um, because, yeah. You ladies love these little, uh, great little pendants. I did bigger pieces before, but guess what? This is a reorder because everybody kind of wanted to, uh, needed this little piece uh, to fill in. What we're finding though is we're usually redoing a reorder if it comes in as reorder just twice. Um, because again, I have so many new pieces that are coming in like crazy. Okay, like. This is where you actually make the budget work because this is banded fluorite. So it's not just fluorite, fluorite fluoresces, but most of the time you don't see it fluorescing. This is doing both. So this can never be cut again. So this is something where we find the rough, we start cutting enough pieces to where I can finally put it into a collection. So I gotta tell you, this is a bracelet that will not be duplicated. I won't be able to do much again. So I really wanted to put it in a very, very artisan piece. So these are my little section pieces, my little connectors that um, kind of my signature style. And then look at these gorgeous, of course the cable twist. So of course I wanted to put the double rings. Um, but again, each and every single fluorite, like this bracelet is a lifetime bracelet. Like, yeah, people are going to be like, never are you going to get those again. And I just love how my guy said, okay, after we cut these channel, you know, we're not going to be able to get any more out of this rough. And I'm like, yep, I get it. I get it. And it's okay. Because you know what? I want just, you know, some of those pieces that, you know, you can't really like, you know, it's a limited amount of people that can have some, oh, okay, get off that bracelet. It is just too, too pretty. Okay, I actually have two fluorite rings, and I have to be honest, this one is a round. So how they cut it, it's very, like, see where you still get that banding? But again, you're going to see more kind of like opaques. A little bit more opaque, but but you still have areas that fluoresce too. Pretty yeah. beautiful. He is a size 10, 11, or 12, so they've been chopping that new arrival for Look sure. Look at that. Look at the gallery. Is that fabulous? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's what it looks like on. So whoever is the lucky one to get this, I, I love this too because it had a little bit more teal colors. Um, I was only able to get like uh, 20 two stones in that ring done. Um, a lot more got rejected than that was saved. Look at that's that is that is not the light that's doing it. It's the stone hitting the light inside that's making it fluoresce. As it's called fluoride. Beautiful. New beginnings. We are on new beginnings, ladies. I love this little thing too. Um, it's, I kind of done that little uh, bezel, but you see also the beautiful two layers of the bamboo bezel too. Look at that gallery. Uh, this Ola's, is gonna, uh, yes. Well, I was wondering if you have to be careful with the fluorite. Fluorite is softer than quartz. I believe it's a s five, is it four? Oh, it's a four. So yes, it's a softer stone. Quartz is like a seven. So yeah, with the, with the fluorite, you definitely want to be more careful with it for sure. Well, this show, this purple tray is with all kinds of debuts tonight, isn't it? Because the, mm. the bracelet is also gorgeous. Okay. Um, well, it's all about, you know, really getting you bracelets. That, look at the pink vapor. I love throwing in because the pink vapor has like, Lavender and pink tones, but just a little hint of blue too. Look at the lavender moon quartz. So you're going to get like a morganite pop of color um, out of lavender moon quartz, which I just love. Um, it, it's this peachy pop that pops out of it. 
um, one of my favorite stones, but one of the harder ones. Now, this little guy is our star faceted. So do you see the star? So I put the star faceted. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And then lavender moon, two pink vapors. But this is really a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece. What's see nice about this, Janelle, too, is for those smaller wristed ladies, it starts at a five and a half. Oh my gosh. So this one starts a little bit smaller than usual. Well, and stone. you know, with the toggles, they do tend to fit a lot of people too. So mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to see that you're going to have a pretty big range um, of people that it will fit. But once you start doing the toggles, you will love my toggle bracelet. Like I pulled so many seven stone bracelets this uh, Monday. Oh my gosh. And I was like, yes, they're getting my seven stone. They're going to love it. Well, um, I, this little bad boy, um, actually, we forgot that we had, we only have one size left, I believe, though, we but do. it's the most popular size. So I was like, um, this is the one that I always say, ladies, get two, um, because this is that really beautiful framing piece, but it's literally a reversal bracelet. See, you see on this side, you see the beautiful tree of life coming down the side. You see the jaw one beads, but... Then on the other side, it is that really difficult open filigree. The one that I said is our most difficult piece to silversmith. It's actually, I usually do two different artisans sometimes um, because this was, see, look at magnet retention with the magnet and the retention hinge. Such a beautiful, but this is always that one that say if you're even wearing multis, it just clips on and it's just perfect. See how pretty that is? But remember, it's reversible. So if you want to reverse it around, is that, look how that just tied everything in so beautifully. And we have a show special for $89. Yeah. I mean that, mm -hmm. thanks Michelle. Yeah. Because I had asked Beth about it and we added that in like last minute. So I'm so glad. Okay. Guess what? This was a style of the earring that I had had forever. And so up till about 10 years ago, this is all we had in our earrings. We didn't really do any other earring because this is the one everybody loved. Um, so these are all wires that we do by hand and love this. So you pull it out like this. Don't be scared of it. You plop it into your ear and then you just, the retention comes right back up. And it is that perfect little button earring. Um, you will become addicted to this style once you start. It, it, they're just, like I said, 30 years. That was kind of our style that we use most of the time. Uh, I know. All the time, huh? Mm-hmm. And um, you're going to start seeing me bring it in in different gemstones and different colors, too. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We're going to do the pink vapor, which you know what I love about the pink vapor is this is actually a reorder. Okay, but do you see the multi? So you have the multi stone bracelet, right? I think I'm going to take, oh, I don't want to take any of these off. Maybe I'll take the fluoride off. Um, because I am building a gorgeous, gorgeous stack and wait till you see all of this together because this is key because to me, do you see the lavender moon kind of colors in it? but you see that really pretty pink. Now this also looks amazing with your uh, lab created pink sapphire that I do. Um, but this goes purple and pink tones. Like it, it's just that perfect pink. And I did find something that's actually going to replace this. It's a uh, got blossom in the word is that way you'll know, but it's going to be something that matches back with your pink vapor. I love this ring. I just absolutely love this ring. So anyway, um, I want to give you a really good tour because it really is such a pretty little structured ring. Look at that little gallery and watch. Oh, it's just perfect. Perfect. Well, um, this is the biggest deal. And why is this the biggest deal? Um, is it's the love one another. And this is our number one selling bracelet style. This is usually when people like 
they tried this bracelet and they kept coming back for more. So to me, it's like a starter, an entry bracelet that I know you're, you're going to be really comfortable with. And I actually brought in five sizes because this is one you can wear loose, but it is so, so good fitted. Now, what's great about this texture is, see, it's domed up at the top, okay? So, it, but the edges are really cushioned. And do you see where that gallery, you can, it's almost seamless. You can almost not tell where that's lined together. But just, yeah, it's the quality of this. I always get so excited sending these out. So I cannot wait. And being that this is the last of the pink vapor color, look how pretty with the lavender moon. But isn't that pretty how you can still mix it with your amethyst? But I think what I'm going to do is just do this uh, kind of cut. I think I'm going to take, because this multi, I love doing a multi with it. But look how pretty that stuff is right there, right? Is that just great? And look at, look at the, look, see how I've got it fitted, ladies? So literally it fits so beautifully that fitted. so comfortable. I've actually got, I think, the six and a quarter on. I've got the six and a quarter on. And my wrist is a six and a quarter. And we have it fitting to a six and a half, so that would be right. Okay. Love it. Okay, well, let's finish this pink vapor off with, of course, your classic pendant that I'd love to do for you. And again, I don't use just a regular, like, it's a fantasy cut. You see how beautiful, how many facets? I'm always double what the normal standard <laughs> is on um, faceted gemstones. Beauty. Okay. Well, um, I did not put this onto the tray because I stuck it on my neck immediately. And so we had to go get another one. So anyway, this is the Janelle Adair station necklace. This just came back in on a reorder. So you're getting two inches of the extender. You're getting the really beautiful Janelle Adair clasp. The hand woven chain, of course our snake chain. But this is where it's so beautiful. You're getting two gorgeous stations. So you're getting our barrel Janelle Adair and then you're getting these really cool little uh, Jawan bead barrels. That's kind of mimics the Janelle Adair too. Now, what I like about this is, you know, we have that 36 inch length um, station necklace right now. This one is actually 28 inches plus two. So that being said, it would still go to a 30. Remember, I love a 15 inch necklace. This one, you absolutely can um, also wear, whoops, I just did that like that, okay, as a choker too. So I want to remind you that this one is really beautiful as a choker style too. And the way the beads line up, it is everything, so everything. So you ladies that love a little edge, you like a little shorter necklace, you, you do a lot of those styles. Um, but I want to show you just how intricate each one of these sections are. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And you're getting literally um, four of those beads. But I love this as a choker style. So it turns out to be like a 15-inch necklace, a double 15. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to tell you, ladies, this just finally came in. It says connection port. But that hopefully that'll go away. I hope I hope I don't lose you, ladies, because this is a goodie. Um, this is our zero Saturn. That is a quartz, and yes, it looks like a unicorn. It looks like we're in a bubble, <laughs> a pink cloud. When I'm in the pink cloud, that's that's right there. It's so funny because uh, remember when I went to JCK, Joey, we found those really yeah. big balloons that were blown up, and I'm like, take a picture of me. It's my zero Saturn balloon. So, you know how they have those big displays where, you know, I was like, we're going to do that for the baby shower. So, I'm very, very excited. 
but this is the lab created pink sapphire and this is the light uh, pink if we have a uh, dark rose or the regular pink that and this is the pink the lighter of the two that i use but this is what's so beautiful are these little connectors how they lay over and of course double-sided look at the beadwork on those every finishing every little nook and cranny of my pieces like i want it to see these just really lay just so beautifully oh my gosh actually mm, this is really pretty with the zero saturn too right connie hans young said she loves the cut Ooh. on the Ooh. sapphire it, yes do you know that this is a pocket collection because it was a different cut that we did and it's more squared off too that is so funny because it's literally a one-off with a vendor we could not go with the vendor because so i i bring in samples sometimes i'm like love love it was so beyond expensive it was three times what we normally do so i think it's so funny that she noticed there's a little bit more going on mm -hmm. that's why it's a pocket it's not coming back <laughs> well there's five left so okay. five that that's good so i love it hopefully people will get that well and look at i'm going to continue on this look because to me this is pink vapor lavender moon um our amethyst everything this is like truly it it definitely you're seeing more greens but there is like pinks and yeah the softness of the undertone of this opal is so pretty look at all the color going on wow okay love this little style and in this one, I actually did three different um, sizes. On this four one. sizes. Oh, I did four. Four sizes, and we did a show special for $149. Okay, whenever you can get gemstone bracelets for me, tips to tips. Well, it was all about tip to tips, and I want it. It's like, oh, no, they probably just got this one. Okay, yeah. You know how, like, other people, I want to make sure everybody can continue to stack their wrist up the way that they want it. So I love doing those specials. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, well, the very other um, is our other little multi. And you know, this is one of my favorite little brace. I had to sneak in that little watermark, our little watermark bead. I love that. But you're getting three of the opals, the little amethyst. And I do want to point out, I'm going to be showing these soon. Did you see the little earring I made to match? <gasps> Is that beyond? See, look, it's a little ball. But anyway, that's, we don't have the graphics up for that, but we will show you in just a minute. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, like, I'm like, those kind of things, like, all day, like, to make one of those little beads, it's ridiculous the time it takes to make a little bead like that, but I just love it. And it's part of, like, why it lays on the wrist so perfect, too. Linda Davis is, says, love the, love the opals. They have so much sparkle. Oh my gosh, Linda, this is like, she's our pink princess. I love it. Oh, and this Linda, is Linda, just had so much fun meeting you too. Like, you were so much more, like I keep saying with the ladies, like, I'm still on, on like, a, like a cloud, just enjoying. Now I get to enjoy all the pictures on my picture book uh, with all this getting together too. Okay, well, let's hit a pendant because I know earrings are great, but um, right, ladies? You know, a lot of people, they'll do a bracelet or a ring, but sometimes they don't do a pendant, so. Okay. And that, Linda Samples was asking, what is the opal called? It is multi-lavender simulated opal. And then it has the amethyst accent stones as well. In it. Oh, okay. Well, we are going to be flipping out here. Oh, time for some blues. <clears throat> oh, look at all that aqua. Oh my gosh. You know, I've been mixing a little bit of aqua in here and there, but I got to tell you. Um, oh, and the Cal Sydney. I cannot wait till the bracelet comes to that Cal Sydney. Ah, it's so good. Um, but yeah, all of these colors, it's like... Oh, so beautiful, right? Well, Let's I just see. want to let you know right off the bat, the, uh, the bangle with the mercury mist and aquamarine, we're down to just the 725 left, and there's only three of those in the bangle. Okay, is that where we're starting? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go quick because, 
you're getting that gorgeous mercury mist, topaz. But this, this is one of my best little bracelet styles. It's so pretty. And I've got to do more like this because it's it's just too fabulous not to bring back. Okay, so we will go to, um, I, I just love these together. Look at this. So this is a big deal. Um, the way this fits, and I really want you to look at your size chart because I really narrowed it down for you. Um, I did make the clasp even a little bit easier than before, okay? Um, and I put a ridge on here, okay? So like when you go to put this on, what I do is I go like this and I pull this with my nail like that to pop it on. So this is gonna be super easy. I move that down a little bit so you can just stick your nail once you line it up and push, okay? And uh, remember with these, um, you just wanna uh, press down and then again, it's going to just release really easy for you, okay? Because I stuck that on the hinge also to make it a little bit more maneuverable. Um, but this is that perfect little bracelet that I gotta tell you, if you've got some people to do gifts, this is going to be that one piece that everybody would love. And where are you going to find a bracelet like this? So well engineered in the fit and everything else. That's what I'm talking about. Because that is one of those things that people do a lot of bracelets like this, but they don't do it well. See, look at that. Do you see? Did you, were you able to get that shot of me just like, how easy I made that for you to put that on. And even though that is new and we had new sizes come in, we did a show special on it on top of what we would normally do for a new arrival price, Janelle. So $79 is the show special price. So it was good. It was perfect before, yeah. but I did a few little upgrades. And again, I brought everybody's <laughs> size in before because before when I first had it, I only did five pieces. But... It is just going to be that bracelet that you probably put on and you don't take off. Like maybe you remove your bracelet stack, but trust me, this one, you'll end up keeping on. It, it's just that piece that you'll never have to take off. It mimics the hand woven chain. So you just keep adding to your stack with it. T Victoria said, nobody does a bracelet like you do. Well, and see for me, I, I put all those extras in. I, I do love designing pieces like this for you T. Like, you know, but really great little affordable pieces too. Cause like anymore, think about it. I can't even get to dinner with one of my friends for under that price anymore. People are like, that's why like with me and Marva, we've been cooking when she comes, does her girls night uh, out. We've been cooking, we've been barbecuing. I'm like, wow, you know? Cause sometimes like the food's not even good at restaurants, right? So mm -hmm. yet you're paying a hundred bucks and you're like, yeah, the food was uh, okay. Well, this is such a well done ring. Um, but I love the look of it. Do you see how it really just overlaps? That does not look like a $50 ring, does it? It's gorgeous. Oh, do I still have the paint on? Yep, of course <laughs> I do. Okay, Linda was like, perfect. <laughs> Keep the pink on, Janelle. Well, I'm going to give you a couple of the rings. So um, this was a band that we just recently brought in and you know, on the website, you might go, oh, it's a chain link. But it's that really elevated, like, domed style, but yet really smooth on the inside. So to me, this is just that one, that butter ring that you are going to forget about. This one would be another one, like, if you're like, oh, I don't know about bracelets, Janelle. These, to me, would be two amazing gifts. Like, anybody that gets the quality of this or this, is going to think you spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them. And I like to bring in some quantity towards the holiday time because I'm already starting to Christmas shop because I take my time and kind of look at the list and, um, yeah. So, or you're getting it for yourself as a thumb ring probably. Tina Smith said it's funny. Every time she eats out after she pays the bill, she thinks, wow, I could have gotten Sarda. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Oh my gosh. Well, my blouse is unfortunately some of the people I'm picking. It's like, yeah, unfortunately, I need to pick people under three hundred dollars. Well, actually, they're at they're at the same place that I'm at, except for they're still charging the kind of money because they are like the highest quality. Where for me, 
I am now going to grow old with you ladies, literally not selling to other people or designing for other people where they're going to put that big markup, right? And Donnie Kelly would like to know, what is your favorite piece to design? Oh, <coughs> bracelet, bracelets. Necklace. Oh, bracelets. Oh, because I want to do things that people aren't doing. And I'm like, why aren't people doing this? Well, I get it. It does take time. But I love it. I love how bracelets make you ladies feel. I know what a quality piece does. And so that's why it's so important. Why you always see me doing such lower prices on my bracelets. Because I want everybody to be able to afford a bracelet, to be honest. I don't want it to be like, no, only if you went to those high-end department stores would you ever be able to experience luxury. So, yes, I had to bring those because this is the quartz. This is the topaz, but they're sister stones. So, to me, a little pop of color with this, like, to me, I love that instead of going to aquamarine, which is a little bit softer. Um... Yeah, I, I, I designed those to go with that. Plus, if you ever had any of the, um, I did that really beautiful chain link and that huge 15 millimeter stone, these were the earrings that would go with it too. If you had to pick just one bracelet, Janelle, mm -hmm. would you pick the Be Stronger bracelet and chain link or the bracelet of the week this week? Oh, the bracelet of the week is so affordable. Like it's, the quality of it uh -huh. for that. Okay. Yeah. Terry was asking. Terry edgy or edge. I don't know if it's edgy or edge, but the quality of this, people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, you're going to take it off. Oh, try it on. Hey, look. Yeah. <laughs> you're never going to. Yeah. This one is great. And you know, it, the engineering is fabulous, but the quality of this. Yeah. You're going to be like, yes, I get myself the best, but you know, guess what I got it at? It's going to sit on the website, what, 300 But you got it for 149 So I, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, and Becky Wafer is suggesting Taco Bell with good company. Oh, to Taco save, Bell. To save money for jewelry. Taco Bell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, don't they have those little, like, oh, see, look at. So remember, your aquamarine is going to be like your coon site. You're going to have that, like, chatoyant cat's eye roll. You're going to have translucent areas and then opaque areas, but inclusions have to occur for that to happen. And it's, it's, it's truly amazing. Now where I, have, I showed this starting in a five inch wrist. Is that correct? Oh, this Wouldn't is, that be this is a great one because look at this, Michelle. So look where you can start hooking in if you want to. Mm. So you can actually start hooking in way up there um, if you'd like. But gorgeous. oh, I love this little piece too because I love. Look at the little fringe of honey. This is this is really really hard to do. The kind of bezeling like that you see, we bezel set it already, and then the little overlays. And look at these little precious little fringe of panties. Isn't it sweet? Fiona Smith. Fiona, hello from Australia. Yes, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Ultimate collector of aquamarine, and it's her birthstone, and she can't decide which piece. So, which piece would you recommend for the ultimate collector the Ona? set? Yes, what would you recommend? Well, I love this really big one that we had because the bigger pieces like this are really hard. Um, I'm going to tell you on this. Oh, this little marquee is really cute too. This marquee is so sweet though. Do you like bigger or smaller? We'll see what she says. Gosh. Um, and will we be seeing any aquamarine earrings? Um, I am working on that. I'm trying to find one for Aletha right now in a sample that I might have done. And uh, I literally set one. I did did in a set two and. They literally went so neutral on your ear, you couldn't see them. But they were very, very expensive, so we opted not to do the earrings. So I'm, I'm still trying to come up with one. I think you ladies want them, but if I did them, you wouldn't like them. Like, if you got them home, that's what I were, like. And so I, I did design some, but didn't move forward with it because of that. So Fiona, 
I love the bigger pieces like that too. Wait a minute. You know what? These were pretty too. I don't know what size Fiona does in them. You know what? Oh, that's Monday. Can you write a note? Whatever Fiona ends up getting, I'm going to throw in something for her because it's going all the way to Australia. So what you end up getting, I'm going to find something else to coordinate for you and give it to you as a gift, Fiona, okay? Because I'm really excited you're getting the Aquamarine. I think you are going to love the Aquamarine. Like it's each and every one is just, yeah, to be able to use this kind of material is pretty exciting. Okay. They're saying, yay, Fiona. <laughs> yeah. She's all the way in Australia, so it takes a little bit of time for her to get her. her right. She does. Ladies, right? So, um, yes, my friend. Well, yes. Oh, she loves so, all of it, she says. <laughs> Marva, I mean, I'll tell Marva at the end because, like, we have so much fun. Um, I've been pulling and also looking at, like, oh, maybe we should move these over. Oh, Michelle, why don't we do this? Why don't... So I'm kind of... Uh, I really had fun downstairs kind of going, oh, we don't have anything else to go with this. We Oh, so we, I've been brewing up some stuff <laughs> for the girls to do while I'm gone. Well, we have three bracelets in the tip to tip. Uh, probably last call on the 625. There was only two left. Yep. Okay. I think that was And then we have a story. handful of the 675 and a handful of the 8. Okay. So about this ring, I actually have a one stone a link bracelet coming into this that's why look at the look, do you see the little light coming through on these so i have that aquamarine that is actually launching what like two weeks or if you sometimes you pull it forward uh that's going to be going with this that is absolutely amazing look at the gallery on this look at that Wow. It's stunning. Available in all sizes, 6 through 12. That's gorgeous. So, you can see this pretty good on the ordering there. I can't help my, like, look at my stone. Look at my ring. Yeah. The ones like this, it's definitely a signet ring. Look at the glow. Like, that's what's so great is that you'll be like, oh, it's just a really soft spa blue. And then it's like, oh, my stone just came to life. What's going on? What's it trying to tell me, Joey? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the Kel Sydney. Ooh, and where, when am I going to get my bracelet? Rotation 86. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's a multi-stone. It's, it's not here yet, but it's coming up. No, I'm just like, if I don't, if I stop redoing stuff, but I can't because I want it to be the best when it comes, and then I end up holding things. <gasps> Do you see? That's what I give you. Just like my carnelian, this is the next big color. Ooh. Do you see the micro faceting on that? And this is my favorite little part right here. This little, like, isn't that just beautiful? The little beadwork. Look at the little, like, strands of silver. It's just, like, edgy and then, ooh, a little soft sophistication. And, of course, your gorgeous gallery. Patricia said, where are you going, Janelle? Because you mentioned you're going on a trip. Yes. So I am taking off. I am actually meeting a couple of my vendors in Hong Kong for the Gem and uh, Mineral Show. And I am meeting Cadet there. We're getting some new, like, polishing, some other contemporary things, like, I'm now going to look at a few things. So there's a whole section um, because I'm going to spend a little money on you ladies, like seeing what I can improve and even get better at. And so we're really excited. And then I'm going home. Um, so we're, me and Kadek are going to uh, fly home with Mare home. And to be honest, I do most of my stuff here in the States now. Like, it's kind of crazy when COVID hit. It was just, we're going to just hang out and have some fun. So I'm actually going to probably get a bunch of footage. And, I, you know, I don't like being on the camera and stuff, really. But I'm like, I'm really going to actually, for the first time, really share 
my life over there with you. So you will see, and they're going to be crazy posts because I'm not good at it. So, and the person that's going with me is not good at it either. So it'd be kind of funny, but so, um, yeah. So should I do that on my personal or on Sarda? Can I do it on Sarda or do I have to do it on my personal? Um, we'll bring both. Maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll do it. I, do we need to screen them? I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's a great Sarah question, but maybe on your personal and then Sardo will, will repost it. Mm -hmm. We can edit it, have Tanya do her magic and make you, you know. Magic. magic. Yes. She does her. Oh, oh, so, oh my gosh, so maybe I just somehow get, so Joey, you're going to have to show me things. Oh, the, I do need something on my tablet before I go that I need you to help me with so that I can actually work. Because yeah. remember the last tablet, I got a new one and I'm like, okay. Donna Kelly would like to know, she loves a friend of candy flower, it's amazing. Why did you choose that over, and is there another flower um, in Bali that maybe you would like as well to design? I did the flowers of Bali, but this sand off flower, which is like a form of sandalwood, it was not pretty. <laughs> But the reason I did frangipanis is because every single, um, really, Balinese sanctuary, basically, is like their home, they work, and they live at home. So it's always been something why I like to stream from my home um, is why I do that. And I've always done that. So it was kind of funny during COVID that now suddenly people were doing stuff from home. Is I've always had my streaming part. And um, the frangio panties, they save, they're the, one of the most expensive things, but every person that has a home, literally that's their big savings that they literally throw a frangio panty tree. So it is, it is cultural, it is like super, super important. And you know, what I love too is, you know, Bali has, um, you know, they say, are they Hindu or are they this? Well, they, it's Balinese, but they really, um, you know, maybe as being a Christian and of course going in prayer, um, you know, one thing, you know, I know for me that that's my belief system, but I do have to tell you that the Balinese are very faithful in their, their faith over there. And, um, you know, when I first became a Christian, I was like, wow, you know, here, here, this is my, I believe in Jesus and but I'm finding I'm not praying as much as she is. Maybe I need to look at that. <laughs> but anyway, what I love is prayer just changes things so much. An attitude, a thought, um, behaviors, hurts, habits, and hangups. So I do love that part. This is one of my favorite bracelets. And I know I've spent too much time turning it because you see all the little sections. Look at even the invisible area there where it comes together. I just love this bracelet. But I love that this this is probably our number one stone that you like Caribbean um, used quartz used to be our our number one. This is become because it has every color that I do in other gemstones where it just combines so beautifully together. Because like look at the sunstone, look how pretty it is with sunstone. But if you did our pink sapphires, they're pretty. If you did you know Sleeping Beauty turquoises, there's nothing really that I do that doesn't look good with this, right? And that's available in a seven and a half or an eight for one forty nine as a show special. The matching oh, ring is beautiful though. We have sizes six through twelve. Oh and my gosh, brand new! This is so. Anyway, I've always loved this little ring. Um, it is one. It's probably my oldest design that I've had. Look at all the the uh, granulation work. You see all around the rim. This is my, you know, was my bezel that I did everything in, my Sarda S swirl. But I love it. It was my ultimate statement ring that I've done. Like people look at that and they're like, wow, it's, pre it's just pretty. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty. See how it sits up almost like a crown? It's a princess ring. It is for sure a princess ring. Okay. <clears throat> well, this 
I actually brought in in a red coral and this is this is so Sarda because this was my signature also mm -hmm. and really really hard to do and what I love is a lot of people did not you know unfortunately some people you know take inspiration from other people um but this is one that they have a hard time re-inspiring <laughs> <laughs> So I always love that because it is, it's about the technique and the skill level that I love to put in um, and, you know, really have my artisans do that kind of quality or something that's just a little bit harder. But do you see the Bali chains on opposite sides and then the snake chain? And then you have your, um, now I brought in three sizes to this and you still have a little bit of a sizing. So you probably will fit into two sizes. So go with the smaller one if you don't want charm dangles. But if you want the dangle bangle, is that what they say? The bangle dangle. Yeah. Um, then you can go with the bigger size, okay? Because I love the charm dangles. I love a little a little bit of a drop. But if you don't, go with the smaller size because there's probably two sizes you might fit into. You know, we have a special price on the bracelet at one nineteen. See? Mm. Love that, love that. <gasps> okay, another just like, I love these styles. Like, this is just one that will never go out of style. Um, you've got Kingman turquoise, you have spiny oyster shell, you just have some of the most beautiful pieces ever. And I am really, really picky about my gemstones that I give you too. And I know a lot of people in the industry, when they use this, you get something and you're like, ooh. It's almost like you have to order four pieces of your size just to get one that might be good. But I can tell you, we are really picky. I am so picky about, you know, every stone has to speak to me. It has to like have a story or a pattern. The amount of time that I do in selecting just that perfect stone for you ladies to set in each piece. That is something I still do myself. It's a really important part of why, you know, when you get things, you you like them. However, it was so funny when Amberly was here, I was like, it would be this one. She was picking something different. So I'm like, wow, everybody sees the gemstones differently. Oh my gosh. But she finally said, no, you did, you picked me the best one. But I was like, really? You like that one? Over but look at this, Amberly. <laughs> it was cute. And okay. We have a request for you to, you know, the ring you were showing, the new debut ring that sits up like a crown. If you could show that with the... Or the bangle, the first piece with the accent, the Sleeping Beauty accent. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, how about if I take it off? Is that what she's saying? I think they want to compare the stone, the news, this, compare the stone of the grace changes everything with the bring about piece. Yeah. Oh, no, the stones. Yeah. No, they no I, I'm really picky about my stones. Everything will match up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's two different ones. So I, I wanted to mix it up because I love these kind of bracelets. So I wanted to sneak one with the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise um, and then I wanted to do just the classic. See where I did just two, but on the end caps, I did this. So, and then I did a toggle on this one. So, because I, I kind of felt like you might say, what's the difference? So um, this one, with the my signature has the lobster okay this one and this one i'm showing you has the toggle okay so it has the toggle toggle bar like this isn't that funny i'm trying to put it on here and now i can't do it but yeah i can stick it on my wrist and i can get it like no problem isn't that funny okay janelle <laughs> There we go. I should just put it on my wrist. So that's the difference. <coughs> Beautiful. Look at the little hand uh, Denjawa beads too. But yeah, this is these are the kind of bracelets you are just going to mix with everything. Like, oh wow, this looks good with this. Oh wow, this look like you know my top that I was wearing today with all those colors and stuff. You know, like you see, it's like it just goes right. You put this on with any kind of multi-top and it's, it's just going to work. Um, look at this. I know, ladies, I told you, I always love 
the, the shape. And I did. It was like I took a lot of like, literally got inspired and did a bunch of pendants. Now, see that little button right there? All you do is like this, the soft part of your skin, you press down. It's really, really easy. This does not come open when you're wearing it. Look at the natural stone behind it. I didn't like, sometimes I don't always like to close the gallery, but I did the back. But you see that? And then you just press down and you hear that lock up for you. Look at that. Mm. I love a good locket for you. And yeah, weight, this is like a bracelet weight is how much silver I used in this. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, slide through these. Okay, so we also have this one, and this has that halo of Jawline beads. It has the little Janela Dares, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, of course. We love Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Kingman and Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, two of the most like iconic turquoises in the world. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Mm. This is the pure pink. Topaz, mm -hmm. but I had to throw some pink, something that was like, it, I feel like this is so Linda Davis, right? Because like, she, yeah, she, she's got other, she's like, she does other colors, you know, besides pink, but yeah, I just really, you know, you see how transitional that stone is. And of course, this is my iconic shape, my iconic pendant that I've done uh, for 30 years. It's been kind of my look. I love that. I was like part of that history. It's so funny because when I was young, I was like, these people, you know, like they're old and they've seen all that. Wow. How do you, and now I get to look back 30 years and go, wow. I mean, I was part of three decades of generational changes and where they didn't have a lot of stuff. But my favorite part is the entire border is Coman, Guayan, and Dewa that do all that by hand. That's all around the edges. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Okay, and then the big earrings. So yes, I always say you cannot be a lightweight earring wearer because there is some carat weight in the stones. And boy, was this fun to match the stones though. Like you're never going to get a better match than for me on these. Uh, but there's some weight to them. And I think we said like 14 grams, right, of silver in them. Looking right now, 18 total. 18. For the, mm -hmm. Including the stone. Oh, with the stone. Yes. So okay, so it's nine grams per yes. per uh, per okay. ear. Per ear. Okay. Well, we are going to go to the next tray, and oh la la, sunstone. Um. Now this necklace, ladies, if you are a collector of pretty rare gemstones, I wonder if it's going to sparkle and you can see. When I was laying this down on the tray before, do you see the fire in these beads? I mean, is that nuts? This, this, this sunstone is phenomenal. I would not leave the show without getting it because, and nobody would cut me beads like this anyway. So this is kind of a collectible piece. Oh, oh whoops, can you slide we're not, down just sorry, a sorry, bit that's not what we're showing. Can you, can you slide your tray down just a little bit? Can't see that, yeah, it, it was, there we go. Perfect. Hello, sunshine. Mary, you just, you just modeled all this. <laughs> Did you, were you like, I'm glistening, I'm glistening in the sun, look at me sparkle. It's like, but it was so funny, we were talking, the, the ladies were like, it looks a little browner in the picture than you, and I just went, no, it's gorgeous still, like, yeah. Oh, it is beautiful. Okay, we are going to start with kind of our iconic. And just so you know, ladies, this is really one of the like hardest cut stones. So the person who does my sunstone also cuts the tanzanite. So every time he tells me he can't do it and I push, push, push and we get it done. Do you see where the water is trapped in some of the sunstone toes? So when you see that rainbow flash, that means it's also. So it is a filled spur, which is just incredible because you get these like 
clear parts of the feldstone and then you see the copper pieces that are suspended in it. It's truly just such a beautiful stone. Looks so pretty with carnelian, but it, you know, also too, um, one of my favorites is the sweet tur turquoise. Like I love those together. I just love those together. But just so you know, this um, a little birdie is telling me he possibly can't do this again, and I'm I'm not going to give up on this one. But we do have the tanzanite that is going to be coming with this, and I got to tell you, tanzanite and sunstone next to each other talk about elevated. Wow. So I did the same tip to tip because I think it's so elevated to have that same look, you know, but beautiful. Look at the watermark all the way down. But this is, these are what I call my busy girl bracelets. We're running out the house and we're sticking them on. You know, you know? four sizes. However, the 725, there are only two left in that particular size. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, how many rooms do we have left? We have uh, sizes 6 through 12. It's a pretty We good just year. got it in. Yes. Oh my gosh. We Okay. Well, this was a reorder, so. Yeah, everybody's going to ask you what this is. Yeah, these are these are the collector kind of stones and pieces that I oh, I, I love love having you add to your, your collections. Mm. Okay, kind of cool because I'm loving this little bit of this cushion square that we did this in uh, with the micro faceting. And what I love is I domed this up more, ladies, so that you would really get to see all that makes up these stone pieces. Pretty phenomenal. Oh, what was I supposed to pull that? Sorry, did I just walk right? No, okay. You were oh, careful. thanks for keeping up with me, Joy. Okay. Yep. I don't know. I just like oh, went straight to because it's I like well we just got it in and I was excited to show it. So thank you, Joy, for seeing that. I was going right to it. Um. Oh, it's so pretty. But look at next level. Look. Okay. This is beyond a gallery piece. Do you see all the hand jawin and granulation work on this piece? Do you see like my little pieces that I had to, it's the first time I've done this much carrot weight in uh, a piece. Do you see how this moves? Each and every one curves and moves. Do you see that? Wow. I gotta put this on because it is beyond beautiful. Um, yeah, this is one of the ones that I'm like, I need that one. I hate taking ones that I can't do a ton of though because I always feel like if I take it, is it gonna, I'm gonna short somebody one. And then if I'm out and somebody really loves it, then I'm gonna give it away. So I've not been taking <laughs> pieces that I wanna take lately. Gorgeous, right? Okay. Um. Now we have this ring. See, I love right how I was like starting to put the things together, but intermixing the shapes and the sizes, like all of the sunstone, is absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, we have a question on the bracelet you just showed. Does it have the little cherub at the end, like other similar bracelets? Did you put the cherub at the end of the? This one, no. Oh. Because um, it was too much with the, the stones. So I do, uh, I do on, uh, yeah, there's one of the styles, but with this one, um, it, it really didn't work out good. So this way, or this way. Beautiful, right? Mm. Okay. Well, this is when, when you ask me to do earrings, it will be the only time I do earrings because matching two pieces, much less in the bracelet, and then trying to get enough for the earrings. Um, 
So you ladies that want earrings, that's kind of going to be it in this sunstone. They're oh. just way, way too hard to match. Three people can get them. Three, yeah. So, congratulations. <laughs> um, okay. New arrival. <sighs> this is my galleries. This is like, oh, oh my gosh. So, I do have to tell you, on these pieces like this that were so beyond, I recut some of my, um, these are like, mm, these are everything, everything. See, I love the, like putting those together though. And I let, see, I wanted to do something really different. See, because on here, do you see where I did that kind of that high polish contemporary, you know, high polish watermark. Then I wanted to do one that was just like best show of Bali. My S swirl, the watermark that's going to tie in other collections I've done for you. And then all of that museum work. Every single little bead, every little wire done by hand. And this, like, there, there couldn't be a bracelet more difficult. But so beautiful, right? And look at this. Okay. And we had to wow. request if you could measure the middle piece, that silver circle. This? Yes. Oh, this. Yes, okay. the silver piece in the okay. middle. Let's see. Let me do it this way. It's a circle. <laughs> I was like, I was kid kidding. Oh. Well, oh yeah, Janelle, you're not. You're actually not a very good joker because I was like, oh, that was a flop, and I was like, ha, ha, ha. that's what Michelle remember when you do it, and then you want people to laugh. I looked at her, and she was like, mm -mm, no. <laughs> okay, I can do the necklace now because that's what I wanted to show you. Do you see how like all the stones in the. Do you see all the translucent in the sheen? So, yeah, this is not for everybody, but it is not something I can duplicate. It's crazy what they want for one little bead. <clears throat> is that incredible? Look at the fire. It's like there's a fire inside. Isn't that incredible? So, anyway, and then I love it because remember that I, I did some little faceted sunstones on the end. I always like to do something a little fancy. Okay, so not many of those. Um, so while you were switching out your trays, would you like to tell us, while you guys are handing those off, what pieces uh, are you taking with you when you travel? Oh my gosh, my all silver, because like at the, the factory, uh, when I'm in Bali, I don't, I just keep my jewelry on the whole time. So I'm probably going to do all silver. I'm not even going to bring my gemstone stuff because most likely I'm going to probably load myself with a bunch of gemstone when I'm there because I'll be seeing a bunch of, oh, taking one of those, taking one of those, taking one of those. So, yeah. So I, like, totally silver, probably, most likely. Actually, I might not take anything. Well, well I mean, I guess I do the Hong Kong show like, first. No, I have to have some jewelry. But I'm like, no, I'll load up when I'm there, right? <laughs> Diana Diaz says you're such a great designer and you're always out doing yourself. She loves your product. Well, I just, you ladies are my like inspiration. Like you're my family, you're my friends. So I get so excited doing new things. But again, I never want anybody overspending or like that. That's my worst thing, right? I'm, yeah, I, trust me, there's going to be another great thing. So it's okay to wait, you know. I will always have something else. Okay, just so you can see, I did them double-sided. So it's not just the front, but black rhodium, this was something I designed a long time ago. Do you see the white? That is white zircon. I mean, to me, it's so antique and so like, but the masking and the work that goes into these pieces um, it is one of my, I say, capsule collections that I did. Will not be, of course, doing it again because, of course, when I did things before COVID, it was somewhat affordable. Um, 
but just really, really beautiful pieces that are just really fun to add in just little bits of gold here and there with the with my Sarda. Because, you know, I always know that there's just fun, different things. Like I have shoes and belts that have like gold. They don't come in silver. And I like to throw a little something, you know, gold on at, at different times, you know. Oh, now I can actually move this to the finger that actually works. Because like this is one of my favorite looks, but I had to put it on my big finger. Isn't that so pretty? The way that lines up. Okay, that's not what we're on, though. What do I go to? You're going oh, to your Love So Sweet bracelet. This one. Okay, and this is the one that I said, look at the design. People go like, what did you do that for? And why? Because as soon as you put it on your wrist, that's what I love. And these are so easy, too, because they're the slides. Okay? But look at how it lays just perfectly. It is just that sweetest little bracelet. But I'm going to tell you, it's... If you get hooked on my black rhodium, when you go to try to go into the market and find black rhodium is so expensive, any kind of black rhodium jewelry. So it's, I don't have realistic, especially with gemstones set into them. Yeah, you could probably find black rhodium in gold, but when you go into getting all the little gemstone sets, see white zircon, mm -hmm. white zircon, there's four little baby white zircons that just give it that extra sparkle mm -hmm. factor. Like, I could have left it out, saved more money, and not did it. But I wanted you to really have quality, quality pieces. Even, like, on my ends like this, aren't they cute? But, yeah, my, my team loves the new beginnings. Okay, what did I do with those? Oh, this was this set. Okay, so I actually put it on, I think. Okay, it's right here. So I stacked it up. So this, this one, I'm going to tell you, is everything it's like a must must you get two of these really cool bands i love these bands in black rhodium solid of course everything's sterling silver um and then you're getting the gold and then it stacks but did you see what i did see where you have just the black rhodium pieces this is where it is so fun just to use the black rhodium, you know, in between some of the rings. But I thought it was just so fun. I love just kind of creating your own look with it. But that's that one. And I would tell everybody, like, to me, it's like a really, I, I love the little white zircon sparkles to it, too. And I don't know if you noticed. Yes, those are little white zircons mm -hmm. that you're seeing, okay? See, just a little um, sparkle yeah. on the band too. Wow. So that's like the extra stuff that I love to do. Um, you know, where it's like, oh, just make it a solo band. No, nobody sets those anymore in a band like yeah. that. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go to the hope. Because we all need a little hope. You know what? I have not heard from my girlfriend. She knew, you know, I was kind of going through some storm. I did isolate a little bit because I didn't want to, you know, really share with people, like, everything that was happening. You know, I didn't want to bum anybody out. So I heard from my girlfriend today, and I just feel like I'm just at such a place. Um, but she actually <clears throat> is going through cancer treatments for um, a colonoscopy that she went through. And I just, I, and you know what she told me today? She said, you know, I'm almost, I know this is weird and only you would understand, but if this wouldn't have happened, my life wouldn't be where it's at because literally it's drawing me closer to God. I've wanted to get to know him. I literally, and it was so cool to know that your friend who is always a believer, you know, but what her hope and where it came from. And I said, oh my gosh. It's blessedness. Like, it doesn't matter what we go through. It could be the worst time. But you're coming forward in faithfulness and gratitude, even for the bad times. And that's where my faith has grown even stronger over the last two years. And now he's getting me on the other side of it. And I, and I am so grateful because I think my reliance on him, it's like air. I mean, like, I, I, I need him. And... I don't feel complete without that. Like, I, I feel so blessed. 
But again, I'm that weirdo talking about it. She said, you know, I'm the weirdo talking about it. I said, join my party. I love it. I love it. But anyway, this is a beautiful ring. So I, I, I just, and I have this in a lot of treatments, but did you see all the hand set stones? So that's where it's like, that's craziness. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, okay. I don't know if you noticed, but I doubled this necklace up. So I love this down, but I would say there's not that many of these left. Um, I like, because what I did is some I did with, uh, it, first of all, it's the coolest Mariner's Link ever. But I did the charms, and yes, they have the stones in them that literally dangle, okay? But then I have stationary pieces of, you can see the, the little um, heart. Okay, whoops, what did I do here? Oh, there it is, okay. So of the heart and this piece that's double-sided. Look at the little drawing piece, <laughs> isn't that so cute? And then look at that. So it's continuous. And these are not easy. Oh, sorry about that. These are not easy necklaces to design because getting that all just right and laying, but to be able to double it up, ladies, you are going to have the perfect uh, double dangle too. So, so this is one that like so on trend, but so forever. Like <coughs> these kind of necklaces are like forever. And you are going to see a lot of money for these because of all the different um, things. Yeah, th this this to me is a sneeze of what it should be. Oh, I love this. This is reorder. This is our torsage twist, and I love this because do you see? So we do have six sizes available. Uh, however, we are last call on the size eight. There are only two left. Wow. Well, this is one of my anchor pieces, you know. Um, but I have to be honest, the chain link one to me was the best one we did. Like, it, it was just hands down one of the best ones we did. Ooh, that's a look. That's really great. That's a great look, yeah. right? Yeah. Love that. Okay. Well, oh, here's the little ring. Um, okay. So this is the one I keep telling everybody, it's two pieces. So you literally can put it together like this. You could also put it together like this. Um, it is just everything. It's so sparkly. It's, it's like so the hammer, right? Oh, you have it. Oh my gosh, Mary has it on. She's wearing it as a single ring. Oh, I love that. It's perfect for the people that aren't into jewelry and you tell them just put it on. And just wear it always. Don't take it off. I think get started on. Oh, I need another piece. <laughs> add yeah. one more. Then add one more. Okay, that's what so you cool. call getting addicted. <laughs> 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 but no, see where you can do this, um, wear it together, or again, you can, uh, you know, wear it just as a silver ring. Uh, Mary had just the one on, but see, you can actually have a cute little scallop yourself or you use it as a framing ring um, but one of the best rings I think um, that I do it, it's just one of them. like you said it looks good by itself it looks good if you like double it up or triple it up like you can't go wrong Kim Holton wears two of them on her thumb yeah oh like kind of fun well this little guy I actually took him so I don't have him on the tray sorry about that because mm -hmm. I always grab him because he is literally a cable of silver we twisted and then arched out. And then you have those beautiful white zircons. This is, yeah. But again, you can build the look up. You can make something bigger. You can make something smaller. Um, you, you can just have fun, you know, um, doing different things. Um, do I have... We okay. have the little yeah, zig but I want to show, like, mm -hmm. you can keep stacking and stacking to as big as you want, but that's, we're not showing that. Okay. Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. we went with you. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I, I just love these kind of rings <laughs> because you can make everything bigger. So if you want bigger, ladies, remember, you can take the chain link I showed earlier and you can just stack and stack and make bigger and bigger. You know, you can go as big as you want and create your own statement ring. Um, but... 
Love this piece. Um, I did it in a three-piece stacker at one point. Oops, where'd you go? And um, then so many of you asked for it just on its own. But do you see, like, I love the little flat pieces of silver. And then it's just a band of chain link that's laid over the top of it. See that? That's so beautiful. Yes. Simple yeah. elegance. Okay, didn't I have him on earlier? What did I do with him? Okay, I had a bunch of him. Oh, you know why? Because literally, I stuck him upside down as a pinky ring. That's a size four for me. But that's that chevron, that heartbeat, and yeah, endless ways to wear these. So you can wear them as a midi, but we have them down as a midi. That means we have size two, three, four, and that we carry our middies in. But it might be a pinky ring for a lot of you. Our middies might be a pinky ring. And then, okay, is this one we got back in finally? No. Yes. We did. It was. And we're back down. And we're back down. We need to reorder it again, probably. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what sizes do we have? Well, what are we, we missing? Have, we're only missing the nine. So you I know. It's good. Okay, so I'm getting better. Oh, look at that. That right there does not represent a $40 band. Like, that is just... You know what I love, though? Again, you can just stack and stack, you know, and create so many of your own looks. You know, like from, you know, the one from earlier, you can just keep stacking and creating your own look with these rings again, right? Ooh, this is a really good one. Yeah. Wow, the quality of it, right? This would be really great for, um, you know, if I know you're sending guy, you know, your kids off to school, they can get them one and send them in the mail. Yeah. Miss you. Like, yeah, this is a great sex ring. It is. I think the nephews would like that one. Oh. I don't know. Would your nephew, Joey, would you like that oh, ring? My, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, they're the same age. I don't have nephews. He's they like, I'm nephews. not your nephew. Yeah. You're the same age as my nephew. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at this. And do you see the little cross? But again, hello, Black Rodium. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Rain Lum calls that ring the sweater ring because the chain link reminds her of cable knit, like a knit sweater oh. on, that, on that ring. Well, we were looking at your gorgeous post all the time, this gnat, and boy, so good, Ray. This Rain Lum. I know, I was, I was like, I kept being like, Ray Lum's going to be here, right? She's in Oregon. She's, I, and I, you I were like, out. Janelle, she's not coming. No. I, I tried. <laughs> we will get you up here next time. See, we're going to give you more time, Ray. <laughs> and then we're going to send a shuttle bus down to get you up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have these on. I love these. I love these. I love, like, to me, these look very rustic. Like, they're just really cool. And just gorgeous, gorgeous little little pieces. But I've got these on, so I will pop out and I will be showing you. Mm -hmm. um, because they really are pretty. I had those on the whole time. But I did find myself like, they're feather light. They're so light too. So if you're looking for some cross jewelry or something, like I feel like these would be a really impressive gift. Mm. And oh, do we have BOGO? This is our last week of oh, BOGO. Yeah. So this is the last week. That whole last tray was New Beginnings. So go to our little thing. It's all different. It's all sterling silver, but it's all like gold with black rhodium or all gold or rose gold with black rhodium or rose gold. So literally you buy one of the items, you get one for free. So anyway, um, I would suggest go with the 99 Find something for 99 because literally want like even more of a savings, it would be like 50% off. Yes. But if you buy one for 99 and you pick one for 79, you get the 79 for free. So um, kind of a big deal because mm -hmm. super affordable, but very fashionable and just, I don't know, very elevated. I spent a lot of time making sure the treatments and stuff were really nice for you that they wouldn't date out. You know, it's not trendy to root, but these are like really great little classics. Okay, Michelle, what else do we have? Holly Ann was asking mm -hmm. if you could please try on oh, yeah. the summer peach 
stud earrings. Oh, the summer peach. Yes, you have I must have those in front of me. I think you do. I think, uh, I don't. I thought you had some. Uh, Mary, summer peach over there. Isn't that on your coon site tray there? No. Um, oh my gosh, it's right here. Okay. Yes. It actually goes right in front of me. Okay. And Ray is excited. She said she would love to ride the party bus up when here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Could, could you imagine like party bus around the, the U.S.? Mm -hmm. But yes. Yes, we will have to arrange something. And then also before we go, make sure to use your $5 coupon, $5 Friday. And also the Moissanite BOGO ends tonight. Tonight, Moissanite. Also, so make sure the shop. And I have tonight. something to tell you about that. Oh, I what you got? I did that little thing where I go in and I can check to see if items are drafted that shouldn't be a onesie, twosie thing. Yes. So I released a bunch of Moissanite last night. So if you've already looked at the page and thought, oh, there wasn't anything, be sure to go back. You found them. Found See, something. I told you I was digging through down there and I was doing this stuff and I was like, something's going on. I found some you things. You found a bunch of noise and I. And I've released it and so they can. And it's bogo. still a BOGO. Yeah. Okay. So it's like the new beginnings, but because we have some broken sizes and stuff. So I would say huge time to get it because we've never marked like it down like this no and, but we're about ready to like look at okay what are we going to bring in but we won't be bringing like that style of moissanite back for at least eight months if we ever do a reorder because we just not reordered anything we just kept new 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 mm. and then we're going to kind of review after we're done okay what do we want to bring back in if any because i would keep doing it <laughs> <laughs> okay well awesome well it is Friday, and you know what? Have the most relaxing, blessed weekend. And thank you for hanging out with us, Mary. Thank you. You were amazing. Thank you for helping me. And love you, Joey and Michelle. And much love to everybody out there. And blessings your way. <laughs>